Okay, here's day four update. The trim piece I was talking about, uh, he showed me on the blueprints. There's, I think it's insulation break there, insulation break up there. So, huh, we'll see. Cause this is a uh, six inch thick insulation. And I just thought that would make it suck in right there, but we will see. I mean, he does this, I don't. And I still gotta get up there and wash all the mud off the beams there from where the dog walked all over. It's our own personal jungle gym. But uh, yesterday and today was all the tedious stuff, putting all the little uh, bottom skirts on, uh, getting ready for the siding, that's the skirt right there, the siding butts up to. There's a track sits on the concrete and all the trim pieces around the top. And then now they're framing out the garage doors with the decorative trim. And because um, we got two colors, we got a dark gray bottom, light gray top trimmed in white. That way it kind of matches the house. But uh, yeah, getting there. And I think this crew leaves today. I think they call themselves iron, iron workers. <clears throat> but anyway. They leave today, and then tomorrow the sheeting crew comes in to put all the uh, sheeting on. So tomorrow she'll start taking shape and uh, <clears throat> getting some color to her. So yeah, not bad. There's something humming. Must be a battery charger. Anyway, they stepped out for lunch, and so we're free to roam about. But anyway, uh, I think when they come back from lunch, they're going to do this cutout. <clears throat> Here and get that framed up for the, the camper's big butt to stick through. Just need that little distance right there, three feet. Just need to bump it out three feet just to get the camper to fit. So um, I gotta come and cut these out and then frame it up. And that way the camper fits in this bay with about a foot or two to spare, really, because it was just it was just about six inches short of fitting in here and um but i went three feet because it's a sheet of that's a sheet of siding three feet so it should give us a foot or two in front of the door here to get the door closed and i went on my nephew to cut my rod we had one rod because this was a cable bay because the whoever designs these things had the door way back there right so this was a cable bay so we put the door here so now we got to mount this block right there to uh, keep the cable by there. And so we went to my nephew to get it cut and welded. So we can put it right there because it was planned to go right there. We gotta move it to here. So as soon as he gets that welded back together, we'll get that rod there done. And that was also a cable bay. Uh, so I had to move that cable bay over here. So I had to drill holes in the beams, get the cable set. And, uh, and for whatever reason, they have cable bays up here on the front half, see them out there, the, the rods, and none on that back there. And I don't know if it's just because the doors, the sun's gonna wash y'all out. Uh, but anyway, who knows what to do. They got a cable bay there, cable bays. So this whole front half is cable bays with only a cable bay on the back wall. Nothing there or up there. I find that strange. But I'm not an engineer, I'm just a truck driver there, Reggie. Well, I'd be glad to get all this stuff out of my yard. I was hoping to get this yard repaired before it got too cold, but now I think we're beyond. It's starting to frost every night. So I don't think my annual rye is gonna have time to um, seed. So I'm hoping all that'll be gone in the next couple of days. Get all that put up and uh, I can get this yard fixed. I guess I want to add a row, a row of rock right there. People cannot seem to stay in the driveway. I don't know why. It's uh, 12 foot wide right here. And they still miss the driveway. So I'm just going to add me a, another row here and make me a bloody two lane highway coming into the, coming into the back here. So uh, look at that mess, right? So we'll make it wider and That'll help their approach angle to that bay. See, let me show you. We get it here. So if we come over here with this mud hole, everybody keeps driving. That'll give us a better angle into that bay right there. So 
But we're getting there. We are getting there. I got the camper hooked up so I can pull, move it up back and forth each day, but so far I haven't had to move it. Um, but we can. We'll have to move it tomorrow so I can get in here and do the siding. So I'll probably move it after a while and we start, we'll pressure wash that up there with the uh, sky lift there, sky jack. Get up with the pressure washer and clean it off. If not, you'll always see it. And uh, people think I have a super, super powered dog. Cause if you get up there and look, hang on, let me see if I can't get you guys up there. You can see puppy prints all over that. I don't know if it's coming through the camera or not, but yeah, she made some puppy prints there, Roger. Crazy dog. All right, we'll see y'all later. Uh, we're out here trying to hang some siding. Um, this is what she looks like right here. Pretty tall. But uh, let me get further back here. So, running to a snag. This building was delivered September 24th and and uh, insulation comes from another outfit out of South Carolina. And it came on a box truck and I signed for it. And Bill Layden and it said 16 rows, which is exactly what we got. What I didn't know was that uh, I didn't do any investigating because I'm just a truck driver. But it's labeled right here where these rows go. And uh, once the guy here started putting the building up, building up, discovered there's no insulation for the sidewalls or the front, really, just the roof and the back wall. So, trying to scramble and get more insulation here. Today is a Thursday. We think we can have it here by Tuesday. Depends on the freight company and where it's coming from. So, we'll be able to get the back wall knocked out today and tomorrow. I don't think they'll be able to do it all today. Just the three of them. And it's really windy and really fighting them. So, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get some insulation here and get this thing knocked out and buttoned up. Because apparently the roof on these things go on last. We have everything here for the roof, but uh, it goes on last. So that's a bummer. Because if we could get that roof done and uh, time they got it done and the back wall done, the sides would be here. But I'm hoping they can go ahead and do the front wall uh, with pieces and get it knocked out. And if they can get the front wall done, then we can hang the garage doors and everything while we're waiting on insulation to come Tuesday. So that'll keep the crew busy and I won't lose the crew because things are so busy at the moment. The crews are hard to come by. And if I lose them because of no insulation, then we got a problem. So Alice will have her new home here shortly. She will fit right there in that bay there. I'll show you that bump out of the wall. We made a bump out back there in the back for Alice to fit.